Got a bouncy needle on your electric tech. Check your grounds first and verify that the signal wire isn't running too close to any other high current wires. If that doesn't work, we can oftentimes smooth it out by adding a 10K half watt resistor to the TAC signal wire. Verify with a multimeter that your resistor is within the proper specification. While you can very easily solder the resistor in place anywhere along the TAC signal wire, we found that the easiest way to put the resistor in line is with crimp-on style connectors. As you might have noticed, we loop the ends of the resistor to help provide a more secure fit. Slide a little heat shrink tubing on, and we're ready to move on to the other side. Now we slide our other connector over the resistor and the heat shrink tubing and crimp it into place as well. As you can see here, we've got a nice compact little unit that will easily integrate into our existing wiring. With the prep work out of the way, installation is as easy as unplugging the existing tack wire to our noisy little ignition coil and putting the resistor in place. The quick connects make this a breeze. Now our tax needle movement is nice and smooth and we didn't have to sacrifice any of the response time or accuracy that we expect. From all of us here at Autometer, thank you for watching.